everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Okay, yes. It's a new day for me. I recorded three sessions yesterday, had a whale of a time, had a blast, really enjoyed it, and I'm back for some more today. In the very last session where I left off last time, we finally made it here to uh, Dragomir's Tomb for, uh, for Hexad, our new recruit. Or should I say... We arrived here in Dragomir's tomb for the loot and plunder. We couldn't care less about Hexat, to be quite honest with you. We're here because she said there's lots of treasure, great treasure. And that, of course, piqued Godan's interest. The reason why we brought this lady with us was to show us where the treasure was. She's taken us, what, halfway? And now she's left us behind. <laughs> Which is rather irksome. Because she was our thief. We no longer have a thief. And now, therefore, we have no person really available to us to scout ahead for traps. And we've seen many traps already in this tomb. And no doubt there will be many more traps in this inner sanctum. So we're kind of in a bit of a sticky situation. How do we go about our business from here on in? All traps concealed normally or magically of magic or magical connected become apparent. Uh... Okay, so it reveals the traps, but it doesn't actually disarm them. Interesting. Okay, given that fact, it would be nice to see where the, the traps are, but given that fact, we can't disarm them anyway. If we get a trap that's across the whole uh, floor, we're screwed anyway. Although we could prepare by casting Bless and Chant to increase saving throws, have our highest hit point and hardy character wade on through. Be quick with it! For the time being, I'm going to tippy toe my way without uh, resting for now. But at the first sign of danger, we're going to change it. We're, we're going to change it up a little bit. Of this be paid well for this. Um. You mean like that? <laughs> uh, Corgan damaged for half due to saving versus spell. Already, um, <laughs> you, you know, the, the, the argument for finding traps <sighs> has just proved itself. Right, here is a character, Burek. On your guard, dwarf! <laughs> this is Corgan speaking. Saying he's been on his guard ever since he arrived in his godforsaken place. Not one to mince his words. Who the hell are you? He asks. You stand before Burek the Unyielding. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not an honour to make his acquaintance. This is quite sarcastic. The Unyielding. Or ultimately, a bit of a goading. We could test your little name and see how accurate it really is. Uh oh, wrong answer. <laughs> Dear me. Yes. Okay. It shall be. <laughs> okay. It's hit with uh, enchanted items, it looks like. And he hits quite hard, and he level drains! Okay! Very bad indeed. Very, very bad indeed. Is it too late for negative plane protection? Corgan is continually being level drained. Now that he's already level drained, we might as well wait and restore him when he's when he's finished. Yes. I'll help however I can. Right. Spells required here. Yes, I am ready. And uh, these guys are going to lend a hand. Stuns 
speak your mind. What can I do? What do you want? Mm. me? Aye, that be sounding right. Do we reckon the iron rod is what we need to insert into that cylindrical kind of recess? Because if it is, okay, this looks like a dead end to me, so I don't think we can go any further. Nature's servant awaits. Which is rather thankful because having to travel all that way <laughs> uh, without a thief would have been absolutely hellacious. Right, uh, restoration time. To command. Restoration time. I await your need. And uh, probably giving Shah him guides my hand. A bit of a heal. She's now fatigued. I am ready. Okay, so Corrigan has been uh, cured of his level drain and has been healed. On my honor, I will do my best. So it's time for us to uh, go back up to a level. Uh, one at a time. Uh oh. Shadow feet. Oh boy. Holy cow. Godan is left exposed here. Aye, I'll do as he is. For now. Oh no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Later, I'll split your cut off. Rod is a key. There is an opening near the tomb's entrance. Oh! It should fit. Hell, fire and brimstone. Sh quickly. Shut up, my love. I'm trying to fight here. Oh, another one's coming. Uh oh, more are coming here. Corgan, enter. Corgan's here. Corgan's here. Go dance here. Anybody else? Can, anybody else can come up here and join the fight? It is done. Jesus. Yes, come, come, come. Oh my God, this is not going well at all here. Uh, right. Here is kind of penned in here. Right. Be quick with it. What is my task? A school yes. breaker. Yes, I go. Run, 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 run. I am red as I. Run, 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 run. There we go. On my honor. By my honor, you shall not see another day. Speak your mind. Fall, creature, and beat the earth! What are you doing, my love? Take... A <gasps> solid hit. Ooh, he's held! Holy cow, that's not good. Right. Nature's servant awaits. Kill it. Okay, we need, we need, we need enchanted bullets here. Are lucky, enchanted plus two dagger. Come on. Yes. I shall not yield to you. A solid hit. Goodness me. What kind of a trauma is this place? Dead. Meet in Vervan's name, it shall be done. Phew. No. No, this is wrong. The sleeper is near, but not here. Sleeper? <laughs> yeah, Kodan trying to draw her back to the reason why we're here. You didn't mention nothing about sleepers. Kodan's saying, we came here for treasure. That's as much as we care about. Forget your damn sleepers. The sleeper is the treasure. Uh, right. 
and asking what the sleeper is. Maybe it's a code word for something really powerful and glorious and very, very uh, expensive. Godan is not liking where this is going, but asking in hope more than anything that he hasn't wasted his time and resources on this wild goose chase. Hexat! What? She is making no... She is making no sense. But we are here now, so we will continue onwards. Right, there we go. That is my task. Very well. So we shall go back to the uh, to the uh, recess here. So she mentioned what she needed to do. Uh, oh, it's, she said it before the fight. She said something about what we had to do. The iron rod can open Dragomir's chamber, but it will seal us within the tomb until the vampire is destroyed. Oh. Okay. So we're going to be facing a vampire then, right? So we could really do with resting. Although resting in a place like this is probably not going to yield positive results. And is that a door? No, it can't be. We, we came here, right? We came here. Oh, how long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? Oh, it's back? a wall. I say we stop now. Yeah, it's the way it looked. So it was the way it uh, blended in. So yeah, if we rest, we're probably going to get ambushed. But we've got a fatigue character. We've got we've got characters that are a little bit worse for wear. Uh, we'll press on and hope for the best. On my honor, done. All right. Yes. Here we go. As you ask. A distant click can be heard. You have been sealed in, but somehow you know a way forward has opened. Probably this. I swim in memories in such a place as what this. What is my task? It shall be. Most unpleasant memories. Yes, indeed, it is this. Right. Well, we have our thief back, thankfully. As you wish. So, just taking her time. There we go. On my honor. Consider it done. Well, yes, if it's required. Yeah, another skull. I think these skulls are uh, not anything special. In fact, go down. Yes, I await your word. Probably going to stick one of them away. Well, how many has he got? Three? How many does he... What is my twitch? Yeah, we'll just stick with one for now. Put the what other lot away. You... What do you want? I want you, my dear, to scout ahead and tell us of any impending danger. That is what you want. It is exactly what I want. Now get moving. Very slowly. Very carefully, but if she dies, there is no reloading. Although we do have Harper's Call, so we could rest and memorise that and get her raised. It's not the end of the world if she goes down. Just a slight hindrance. Just make sure there's no traps on this particular door here. Nope. Opens nice and easy. On my honor. Too easy. Consider and this, it done. And this is too quiet. Yeah. 
and I don't reckon she'll be able to hide in shadows under pressure like this, but we'll try. A couple more times, perhaps. Yes, there are stories amongst my people. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. Yeah, Aerie not happy. Been stuck in here. Oh, oh hell, fire and brimstone. That looks rather dangerous. Your blood no! is rather inviting. I wanted to rest first. I don't think we're prepared for this. I wanted to rest and cast protections. But good old Hexat just had to stay there for a moment too long. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Are you real, man? Or does my mind play tricks upon me? Go down peeping round the corner. <laughs> Announcing his arrival. And he is very, very much real. Why have you come to my tomb, Godan Firehammer? Um... <laughs> we, well, being... Brutally honest... We're just here for the treasure. Step aside, and no one need be harmed. <laughs> okay, he didn't like that answer. What a shock. Right. Uh, you are lucky. It's run. Cloud. Right. I am but ready. I will try. Oh, shut up, my dear. Now is not the time for your bloody monotone drawlings. Uh, bless. Yes, it is. Negative plane protection on the front liners. Uh, one. You need something? Uh, on Cor Did she cast it on Corgan? Ustanza dost. Let me uh, re replan this. Go, Dan. Yes. Where is it? Where's the other one? Did Jahira have it? It is about time. Oh, sorry, Jahira has it. Casting on Corgan. What do you want, Crown? Corgan sipping a potion. Yes. Go down sipping a lesser potion. We just need to pop our health up. She's running. Um, Airy will cast um, protection from evil. I imagine that this creature is definitely. Oh, she doesn't have that, right? Great stuff. Casting Undead Warrior. Right there. Manus. Manus. Right. I am yours to command. So you, don't mind me, Dragomir, evil being you. Speak I'm just a bit busy casting a few little things here. I hope what you can don't I do? mind. Chant. Right, let's go. My task? Should be okay now, right? I will yeah. do my best. Probably. Maybe. Here he comes. On my own. Yes. Bring forth the skeleton. Woo! Domination! Domination, no! Okay, we need protection from... Um, protection from fear won't work, will it? How do you... Um, it's chaotic commands we need here for that. Oh. Yes. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Where the hell's my second warrior? Didn't she have two of them? Oh, she she sacrificed one to replace it with something else. Okay, casting that there. Casting slow, just in case. What would you have me do? Hexat's attacking. Jahira's going to be controlled very shortly. She's rather unfortunate unless she saves. Oh, she's charmed. She's charmed. That's not good at all. She's going to be painfully uh, causing concern for us here. Dragomir is uninjured. I lost my spell. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. We need Jahira to be held. Oh, he's hacking, and he's doing a lot of damage. Yes. Right, we need to hold Jahira. What do you... What do you... 
arrows plus one. Probably needs arrows plus one. She's casting ours. another skeleton warrior. Corgan moving in. What is my task? Dwarven defender stance. Is he immune? Immune to his plus one ammunition. Immune to his plus one weapon. That's not good. How do we hit him? On my honor. Uh, we could be in trouble here if we can't hit him with our plus one weapons. We need plus two weaponry. We're a bit buggered. To say the very least. Uh, right, we're in trouble, I think. What's the bigger immune? What's the Well, we can't hit this thing. I'll help however I can. Can probably hit him with magic, but only one magic user here. She's got a plus two dagger. <laughs> Is that really going to do anything? Yes, I do. You are lucky I'm here. What can I do? Oh, she's casting. Uh, we're in big trouble, man. Big hey. trouble. Yes. Try Bal's axe. Barkeror, I the dwarf. I shall not yield to you. Okay, so we hit him with acid arrow, barely injured. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Uh, we may have to use our uh, um, our wands, you know. Fireball. Oh, this is this is so tough. So very, very tough indeed. Right, magic missile. You have to kite him. Oh, but your hair is causing a problem here. She really is causing an issue. Dire charm, we can't do anything with her, can't attack her. Oh, Godan's dominated and dire charmed. Shoot in hell, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, if we're looking at redoing this, um, which is probably going to be the case at this point, we're going to have to rest and re-prepare. Because we're not prepared for this fight at the moment. Which means we're going to need to cast chaotic commands so that we don't get dominated. We're going to have to utilise our wizard's um, wands. So we're probably going to have to get the summons ready, um, use the wands as much as we can, so cloud kill, fireball, ice, everything, whilst he is distracted by the summons to start with, spells, and this is basically down to um, Aerie to get this done, while the rest of us are useless, unless... Bear with me, I'm trying to think of how to, how to do this now. Um, if we summon a flame blade, it acts as a... Red hot fire. The blade rays wielded as if it were a sword that the caster already knows how to use, hence there are no bonuses or penalties. The caster creature struck suffers 1d4 points of slashing damage, plus an additional 1d2 plus 4 points of fire damage. However, it is not a magical weapon. Okay, that's no use in either. What about the shillelagh? Is that a plus one weapon? That's not good, is it? Unholy Blight would probably be helpful here as well. I'm going 
Good grief. This is this is very grim. Be this quick with it. is very grim. I'm not going to give up, though. She's got a plus two dagger, right? But if she gets one chop from that two-handed sword, it's no use in the ornament. She's down and out. Also, we have... <laughs> Bit of metagaming here. Um, we have this dagger here that Godan hasn't identified, but he does have his glasses available to him. So I know what this dagger is. Uh, so for my sanity, in order to try and do this without, um, you know, coming back with freshly purchased plus two weaponry or whatever, um, if we uncover this dagger, we'll find it's a plus two throwing dagger. So that should be able to hit him. So we've got the throwing dagger plus two. We'll we repurpose our spells, chaotic command, so we don't get dominated. Um, it's still going to be very tough, though. Did she, did she cast magic missile? What do you want, Crowling? Just testing if non-magical weapons work. Um, in fact, Shot. she Shot. probably has. Or she does have, right? She does have ice arrows or something. These are arrows of biting. Also, there's an arrow that looks like an arrow of detonation, so that might be useful also. Big explosion on impact. So she's, she's, gonna, she's got literally five chances to hit with an enchanted what arrow. Have me do? Okay. Victory shall be ours. That's you plus one weaponry. Us. She can't do anything else. So she's pretty much useless. Um Godan's useless. The axe be bloody ready. Can we do what can we do with him? Eh? Try the ranged weaponry. She's casting magic missile, she's firing arrows of biting. Lord of glory. Now you die. That hit Hexat missed. Barely injured. Be paid well for this. Three acid damage, three magic damage, three magic damage, two magic damage, miss magic missile. Just trying to figure out if anybody else has hit him and what with. This is a, this is a bit of a, a bit of a test test run now at this point. Just to see how far we get and what can hit him. I think he's immune to anything below a plus two weaponry. It must be. It must be. Fire. I'll help however I can. Uh, magic missile. Corgan kiting. <laughs> kiting, kiting, kiting. Go done. And Dragomir chasing. He's barely been touched. Do? Oh, he's dominated Corgan. Wow. This is half the part he's dominated. This is this is gonna be a tough fight. Right, has um Hexat hit him yet? 27 slashing damage, wow. Yeah, we're a bit buggered at this point. We're a bit buggered at this point. Okay. Uh, magic missile. Thank you for killing Corbin. Much appreciated. She must have used all of her arrows. We've barely made a dent in him, have we? Oh, look at that. One shot, buff, dead. Oh, he's going through us like a hot knife through butter. Good night. Ah. Wow. Uh, I'm all the way back here. Right, okay. I'm debating whether or not this is possible. 
<laughs> with what we've got at the moment. I'll have one more try, uh, knowing what I know, but applying that, and if we get nowhere near, we're gonna have to replan. We're probably gonna have to leave and re-prepare. This guy is no, no mug. Yes, it shall be. What is my task? Right. First of all, let's see if we can rest here. So we need to repurpose. We need to replan our spells. Um, now, let me see. Armor of Faith, Bless, Doom. None of these are helpful. Entangle, maybe. Get him down. Get him right. Fine traps. Flame blade. We know is not a magical weapon. Resist fire. Cold. That could be handy if we cast that on our frontliners, and then they're kind of protected from a fireball situation. So we can spam a fight. Well, we can cast at least one fireball at him. It's probably not worth it though for just one fireball. If we're spamming fireballs, it might be worth it, but. Uh, none of these really are useful. Call lightning, we're inside. Uh, yeah, protection from fire would give how much? 80%. That would be even better, actually. Uh, rigid thinking, strength of one, summon insects. Yeah, we just need as many attacking spells as possible. So if we replan for this one fight only. Um, yeah, none of these are going to be helpful. Summon Insects is the only aggressive spell that she has. Rigid Thinking, he's probably going to save against that. Um, healing spells? Probably not. Three lots of Summon Insects. Cloak of Fear. No, negative brain protection, we need one, and one buff. Poison, he's probably immune, being an undead, I would suggest. Uh, insect plague, okay. Chaotic commands, somebody needs chaotic commands, level five, right, okay, so. Viconia. It's a plus one weapon. Protection from evil. No, we've got the, the we've got the radius. Remove fear. Sanctuary. Shillelagh. None of them are useful. Got the buffing spells. Hold person. He's not a person. Does it count against vampires? I prob. I wouldn't say so. Silence, slow poison on the spiritual hammer. What's that? Again, plus one for every six experience levels. Okay, so we're not level 12 though, so it would be a plus two weapon if we were level 12. That sucks. Uh, right, holy smite, it's probably evil. Um, that's going to be needed. Uh, animate dead. Summons. Yeah. Give a bit of distraction to start with because he hits like a train. Holy smite, definitely. As many of them as possible. Miscast magic. Protection from fire. Unholy blight. That's no good. Strength of reserve, dispel magic, animate dead. Two animate deads, two uh, holy smites. Okay, animal summoning, defensive harmony, negative plane protection, restoration, protection from 10 foot uh, evil. Okay. That's fine. Restoration probably don't need if we're using negative plane protection, but we'll be going to rest after this anyway. But what else am I going to replace it with is the question. 
nothing really stri uh, strikes me. Although if she uses defensive harmony, Jahira could probably use chaotic commands. Oh no, she oh she's the only one that knows this. Okay, so she's gonna have to cancel that chaotic commands. What? One turn per level. All right. Okay. Right, airy. Uh, fine. Uh, flame blade, no good. Spiritual hammer, no good. Whole person doesn't doesn't work. But none of these are really useful. Uh, animate dead and unho unholy smite. Okay, defensive harmony. Yeah, here has already got that anyway. Restoration. Neither here nor there. Uh, her mage spells will be the more important spells. So magic missile, fine. Melfs, stinking cloud, no. Lots of melfs. Uh, lightning bolt or slow? One slow. Lightning bolt. I think two casters slow just to help if the first one misses, try and get a second one off. Uh, and these are rubbish. Hold monster is probably the right one. Undead creatures cannot be held. In fact, no. Okay. Looks like we can't hold a vampire. Right. So we've got all our attacking spells available, equipped on our uh, our um, characters. Um, Godan is going to use his glasses to identify this and this. So this is an arrow of detonation, um, and this is a dagger plus two boomerang dagger. It's a throwing dagger that returns to the wielder. So hexat is pretty useful with that and that. Okay, so she's got means of hitting him. That's a plus two weapon. So we'll see if that hits him or not, and that will confirm or not whether. We need plus two weaponry. Um, so she's prepared now. She can hit him. She can hit him with her spells. Uh, and wands. She can hit him with unholy, uh, whatever it's called. She can hit him with her spells. Corgan can't hit him. And neither can go down. <laughs> Our frontline fighters. But they can kite him. So I'm gonna quick save it. We're gonna rest up. Hope we don't get attacked. Stand. You rest each night uneasy. Yes, you are weary. You struggle daily. It will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage, from your talents within. So many things of flesh are greater than you. Walk among them, these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength, see how easily you fall to their muscle and skill. Why do you stand for this? Why do you submit to the flesh when death is bred in your bones? Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. you are owed by the blood in your veins. Follow, if only to protect the weak that fell because of you.
What a time for a dream such as that. <laughs> Perhaps Godan will be renewed with an <clears throat> inner strength. No. What the hell is Jahir doing? No, no, what, what? <laughs> yes, Godan uh, commenting that uh, he too has uh, the occasional uh, restless dream. Do you? Yes. You have lost people close to you as well. It is awful, isn't it, to watch as people die again in your mind? Yes, yes. You get used to it, though, Godan's saying, quite matter of fact. Although his dreams are not about lost people, his dreams are slightly more intriguing about grasping inner power and becoming all-powerful. And these dreams... Godan quite enjoys them. I will not bother you further with such talk. I see I will gather no sympathy here. Yeah, you're barking up the wrong tree if you want sympathy, my dear. Right, we have rested. Our spells are as they are. Be quick with it! What do you... What do you want? What do you want, growling? I want this to go as smoothly as possible. So, uh, yeah, the session is dragging on a little bit. It's going to be a longer session. I'm, I'm sure you won't mind. We're going to have one more try at this. If we fail this spectacularly, we're going to have to leave the tomb, come back better prepared, a.k.a. have some uh, weapons that can hit this damn thing. If we get close, I'll end the session and we'll start up the next session uh, having another uh, try or two. But uh, let's go and see if we fare any better this time done. around. Right then, so summon the uh, assistants first. Yes. Jacques. Yes, it is. Those of you in the know will probably suggest this is just not possible. You're wasting your time here, but hey ho, I'm not in the know, so <laughs> I'm gonna roll with it. Right. I'll help however I can. I am yours to command. Nature's servant awaits. Right, chaotic commands. Oh no, please tell me it's not just on one person. It's not is it an AoE or what? One creature. Oh wow. One creature. That sucks. Right. That sucks big star. I thought it was an AoE. Uh, right, go down's gonna get the benefit of that spell then. What can I do? Hence the deflation. Uh, you know, note the deflation in my voice. Oh god, no. Shaw guides my hand. Who's got defensive harmony? I right. await your need. Thank you, Jahera, defensive Victory harmony. Victory shall be ours. You, you can chant. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. And bless. Right, we're as bluffed as we're gonna get. On my honor, it shall be. Right, go down. Gonna try and talk and kite the creature out. Pin it in with these, and then we're gonna AOE it to, to death. <laughs> kind of. Your blood is rather inviting. Your existence ends here. Right. Me get, be bloody ready. get away from any Hope AOE effects. Well for this. Come on, you big dog. Consider it done. Come on, you big lug. What is my... 
It doesn't come outside. Right. On my honor. Yes, it shall be. Oh, this is going very well. be sounded right. What is my consider it done? What's he doing? I'll do as you wish. Attack the damn creature, man! Have we, have we glitched this? Probably. Are lucky I'm here. On my I will do my best. No time. So did that hit him? Save versus spell. Domination against Hexa. Weapon ineffective. Weapon unusable. What would you have me do? Oh, well, this is so bad. So so bad. Right. Okay. Holy doings. Yes. Uh, insect plague. You need something. Holy doings. It's the official title, you see. Okay. Is she hitting him? Still missing. Need to see if Hexat's weapon does damage. Right. Fireball. Yes, it is. More holy doings. I am ready. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, another bless. Are we, are we unblessed? Go for another one. Twenty-two fire damage. Right. Okay. Uh, cloud kill. I'll help however I can. Missed again. <laughs> God. He's down two bars though. So. It's an improvement, but we're out of attacking priest spells. What can I do? She's casting that. Do you... She's still lobbing Be things. Yes. Godan does have some spells, not many. Cloud kill triggered. Jahira keeping the pressure on. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Uh, Melfs. Oh boy. He's now coming for us. On my honor. Dwarven defender stance. Uh oh. Uh oh. Injured. Okay. Hitting slightly. Yes. Go down. Go down. Move in. Nobody can take a scratch from him, otherwise they're dead. Yes. Go down has to step up here. Oh my god! Hexat hits him! Critical hit averted. Any damage? Yes. Dwarven Defender. Hmm? Another Melfs. Still in the cloud kill, I think. Still throw your daggers at him. I am yours to command. Nothing else for her. Oh, 
but I think... Does he level drain? I forgot to cast negative plane protection. Preemptive... Do, do it now. Speak your mind. Another insect plague. Shot, guys, my hand. Right, let's go down. Try that weapon. Just try it. Ghoul touch. Victory shall be ours. You know this. Nothing. Yes. Magic missile. You are lucky, I hear. Oh my god, this is so close. Help however I can. So so close, magic missile again. On my honor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Airy, cast quicker, cast quicker. Jacqueline. This is gonna be so tight. Nature so very, company. very tight. Yes. What can I do? My weapon has no effect. Oh my so god. Oh my god! What is my task? Keep him tied up, go down, keep him tied up. Yes. Ghoul touch. Jahira unaffected by domination. We've got very lucky with this fight. Holy cow, come on, one more! May death! What is my task? Yes! Oh yes! On my honor, Dutch. Holy cow! <laughs> oh boy! That was... I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. We got very lucky with that uh, fight, though. He kind of bugged out a little bit at the start and ran off, which gave us a nice bit of breathing room when he was tied up with the skeleton, so we could get the wands off, we could get the cloud kill off and stuff. Uh, and then it was just uh, <laughs> clinging on for dear life. We got lucky with the domination rolls. That could have gone against us. If it had dominated Aerie, for instance, it would have been game over. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of luck. But, we'll take it. Okay, so Hexat commenting that Dragomir is dead, in her very matter-of-fact tone. Has half the party here, well most of the party here, sweating, breathless, looking like they're dishevelled and, and panic-stricken. And she's just there, Hex. Uh, Dragomir is dead. Yes, my dear. Now where's the treasure? Your grasp of the obvious is beyond reproach. Yeah, go down losing patience here. <laughs> We're very close to where we need to be now. We must move forward. Forward? I'm assuming forward is where the treasure is. The treasure, yes. Good. We are very close now. Good. Yes. Save it. <laughs> Save well, it. As you ask. the hell is that garment? Go down chucking these skulls on the floor in disgust. Cloak of Dragomir allows a vampire to travel outside during the day and in full view of the sun, albeit with the following penalties. Wearable only by vampires. This cloak was crafted and imbued with a powerful undead magic by the necromancer Zulan Pass while she was in the employ of the warlord Dragomir. Dragomir had been turned to vampirism and, not wanting to leave his previous life behind, demanded that Zulan craft a magical garment that would allow him to travel in the light of the sun without being destroyed. While Zulan was successful, the cloak severely dampened many of the vampiric abilities that Dragomir had come to enjoy. <laughs> For this inconvenience, she was drained of her lifeblood by Dragomir and left to die. Okay. Wearable only by vampires. On my honor. 
Right, I think we'll end the session here. Uh, we're, we're very close to uh, the an end of this tune, but uh, we're straying over the hour mark now. Uh, with a bit of editing, it might just come in under the hour mark. So uh, join me in the next session when we shall proceed, hopefully, towards the treasure. And uh, Godan can uh, hopefully celebrate the, uh, the, the slaying of a mighty vampire in true style by looting his coffin, no doubt. Until then, see you soon.